They waited in blistering heat for a ruling that proponents of gay marriage have campaigned for for so long. Equality! Now! In the final minutes, there was suspense and anxiety. And then the scale of their victory became clear. How big a moment is this for you? This is huge! This is amazing! Is this a civil rights moment of your generation? Yes! I am so proud to be an American right now, and that's not something that I say very often. No wonder the lawyers and activists were jubilant. This ruling forbids the federal government from discriminating against same-sex partners, and it rejects a ban on gay marriage in California. The president's on the line from Air Force One. President Obama rang in while on his way to Africa. Well, we're proud of you guys. We're proud of you guys, he said. And thank you for your leadership. You're invited to the wedding. <laughs> in San Francisco's City Hall, where there is such pride in championing gay rights, there was euphoria. It's been a long road, many years, but gosh, it feels good to have love triumph over ignorance. While many here celebrated, some conservative politicians are expressing shock, saying the institution of marriage is not subject to legal opinion. That is something that God created. That is something that God will define. The Supreme Court, though they may think so, have not yet arisen to the level of God. On both rulings, the justices split 5-4, so it was a narrow win. But on gay marriage, there is a clear sense across America, the legal and political tide is turning. We are gay, we are American, and we will not be treated like second-class citizens. Paul Katami had helped to bring the case before the Supreme Court. And with today's ruling, he could finally pose this question to his partner. So today is a good day. It's the day I finally get to look at the man that I love and finally say, will you please marry me? <laughs> this ruling does not make gay marriage legal across the United States, but it is a giant step in that direction, being hailed by people on both sides of the debate as truly historic. Robert Moore, ITV News, at the Supreme Court.